resurrection mean to you? To me, it means proof of God's word that his promise that he would he would come again uh, that he would re he would come in three days and um, so it makes me think he's a promise keeper and um, it gives me feelings of joy because he showed grace love mercy compassion and forgiveness of our sins and that's that's the greatest gift of all and although the, the the crucifixion was horrendous the resurrection there's there's nothing greater there's nothing more powerful than that the resurrection is real god is real he's still alive he's still on the throne and that gives me hope and joy and it just fills my heart with love um <laughs> The resurrection to me is, let me back up, about 25, 35, 40 years. BYF conference we went to one year, and the theme of it was, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. And that has always stuck with me. And to me, it just means that no matter what, no matter how bad it gets, it may be Friday, but Sunday's coming. And I know that Christ died on the cross for our sins. I often wonder why. I really do, because I don't deserve it. I don't know a lot of people that do deserve it. But I know that that's why he did it. And I just, I thank God every day that, that Jesus died for us, because we truly do not deserve it what he went through for us. All right, what does the resurrection mean to you? The resurrection means to me, um, Jesus said, I think it was actually prophesied in the book of Isaiah that Christ would come and do a new thing. And that's really what the resurrection means to me. It reminds us every single year of what Christ did for us. He did something new, not only for me and everybody in this room, but for the entire world. Somebody coined a phrase years ago. It's a wonderful marketing tool that they use. That the gift that keeps on giving. And uh, truly what Christ did for us is he gave us a gift. A gift that keeps on giving. The gift of, he gave us the gift of salvation because of what he did on the cross. And he gave us the gift of grace because of what he did, he did on the cross. And he gave us the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. When he ascended to heaven, the Holy Spirit descended and came into our hearts and that's why it is so important for me to celebrate Easter. Hello Parkersburg, West Virginia. I miss you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, just wanted to say happy Easter and share a little uh, thought as per a question from Melody. Uh, what about what, what's important about the resurrection? Um, and the first thing that came to mind was a quote by C.S. Lewis where he says Christianity if false is of no importance but if it's true is of the utmost importance and the one thing it cannot be is moderately important and the crucifixion jesus being raised from the dead back to life ascending into heaven is the crux of the entire gospel message everything about christianity truly hinges on whether that's true or not and what the implications of that means so i just want to encourage you as you are celebrating your quarantine easter that you just really take that message to heart and the value of that and just ponder the implications and the power and the meaning and everything that's involved with the message of jesus was raised from the dead and he is currently alive in heaven seated at the right hand of god the father Bless you guys. See you soon. Hi, I'm Alize, and I want to say what my favorite part of Easter is, that he died for our sins. Regardless if he would have resurrected or not, he died for us because he loved us so much. The resurrection was a plus. It was a big, big plus. But 
to know that someone connected to God was given to us to save us. It's a beautiful thing. And I think, once again, that's the most important part to remember, is that he died. Regardless if he would have been resurrected or not, he died for us. And that's how that's how much God loves us. They, he would take a bullet for us. And that's all. <laughs> that's my favorite part about Easter. Tell me what the resurrection means to you. Uh, what it means to me right now and what we're going through right now, that I don't have to have fear for what's going on right now. Because my Lord died on the cross today, Good Friday, so that I wouldn't have to have fear. So faith, which is me, my name, over fear. Uh, tell me what the resurrection means to you. Well, to me, it means life. It means that someday I'll see my husband and my daughter again. It means love. Amen. Jesus has changed my life from taking me out of the de uh, depths of addiction and being hateful and constantly wanting to hurt someone to where now I'm able to tolerate more. I'm not full of hate, not full of anger. Tell me how Jesus changed your life. Jesus changed my life by helping me with my addiction. I uh, got an awesome church family now. I've moved from home to here and I'm just doing a lot better. All right, tell me how Jesus changed your life. Well, it's been a long, slow process, lifelong even. I've always gone to church, but um, in my early half of my life, I was always pursuing my own dreams, my own agenda. And um, as I grew closer to Jesus, as I did my walk, and probably just in, I mean, even in the past, few years, I have um, really just cast off, let's say, a lot of those pursuits that were just seem to be simply selfish or self-centered. Um, I am more concerned about other people, and um, there's a lot of things that I had in my life that needed to go and a lot of those have just fallen away I just don't really have that interest anymore how did Jesus change my life he gave me a new heart to start with he gave me understanding of his word and allowed me to have a different desire he made me want more than what I had in life gave me hope and, uh, changed my heart made me care about others where I once didn't care about nobody but myself and today I can honestly say I care about others more than I do myself uh, he means the world to me and everything I do I breathe hoping that it comes from his word that's what he did that's good all right all right tell me how jesus changed your life um jesus touched my heart and delivered me from my addiction um in so many ways um and not only did he deliver me um but he reached in and touched my heart and my mind and to reassure me that he loves me no matter what and with knowing that I know now that I can overcome anything. How has Jesus changed your life? A thousand ways. Uh, I'm happier, calmer. Things don't bother me. This coronavirus thing's going on right now. 
don't sweat it at all. God's got it. I don't worry about it. Um, it's made me a more peaceful, happy man. Jesus has done so much in my life. It's just hard to nail one thing down or, or even a group of two or three things. I just feel blessed. He's led me to the gathering. I'm reunited with my family. I, I don't know, that's just all I can say. I'm happier now than I've ever been. My kids are great, my grandkids are great. It's just Jesus has made all the difference in the world in my life. Thank you. How did Jesus change my life? I always knew, I always had Jesus in my heart. I always knew and I believed if there was a God, I did not serve God. I served the devil. Uh, a lot of my life, I, I did a lot of terrible things. Most of you guys know me. I don't need to go into detail on that. Um, there were, you know, I still have a lot of the same issues that I had before. But to the difference today is I don't have to wake up and not be able to breathe because of anxiety and fear. And Jesus gave me a testimony that I can use that I help people now. I don't ever guess how these people that I'm helping feel because I know. I know how they feel. I know their struggle. I know their pain. I know exactly what's going on in their lives, even though they really try to let me know. But I'm very thankful for that. Um, he, he took me out of the pits, literally took me out of the pits and planted me in a church and gave me a ministry. And I'm very, very thankful for that. How's everybody doing? First of all, I just want to tell you how much we love and miss y'all. Um, you know, God, God has been doing so much work in our marriage and uh, our everyday lives. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they come to church, they just go through the motions. We found that once we started taking our uh, relationship with Christ more seriously and started getting more involved in uh, leadership positions, we, we began to see the real, real, real heart of Christ. And uh, I'm just so glad that he's active in our lives. And I'm just so thankful for the strength he's given us as a couple. And uh, I'm just so thankful for the church family that we have. And uh, we love you all very much. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hi. Hi, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. We love and miss everyone. Miss our church family. Can't wait to get back together again. Hope you guys have a great Easter. Bye. 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 Hi, church family. I miss you all so much. And I want you to know that some of you have been working so hard, and I'm so proud to be a member of the gathering. Hi. Hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hi, church family. We miss you and we love you. <laughs> this is my face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, church family. We miss you and we love you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Happy Easter. Sky says happy Easter too. And she's napping though. We miss everyone. We just wanted to wish a happy Easter to everyone. And God bless you guys. Lots of prayers and lots of love. Bye. Bye. Hi, church. Happy Easter. Hi, church. Happy Easter. We love, we love and miss you, you gathering family. Happy Easter! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, church family. Hi, church family. I hope everybody's doing good. This will be the first Easter as long as I can remember not being in a church building. But at least we can still worship on the internet with our church family. I hope everybody's doing good. Bye, we miss you. Hi, church family. You guys. Bye. I miss going to church with my Mimi and Papa, and I miss my friends from church, and I miss playing there. Say hi, church family. Say we miss you. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> hi, church family. Well, how are y'all? 
just want to say happy Easter everybody hope everybody's doing well I miss you all uh, thank you for uh, watching this on YouTube and everything it makes it a lot better that we're doing this you know leave a comment if you got anything to pray about hit us up hit Pastor Mel hit up me you know this is you know something different we're all going through so please feel free to reach out you're not in this alone we're all in this together like they say on TV you know all them actors you know in their million dollar houses we ain't got that so we know what you're going through Love y'all. Miss you. Happy Easter. And he's alive. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Three. Jesus, Jesus is alive. Two. Three. He lives. <laughs> Two, three. He's, he's alive. alive. He's alive. Three, three. He's, he's alive. alive.